In this video, I will show you how to convert an Excel file to a CSV file. So let's jump straight into it. As you can see, I've got my file loaded up. So this is on Excel. And what you're going to want to do first once you've got your file is just go ahead and save that to your computer. So come up to the top left hand corner, click on file and then save as. And then what you can do is just click on to download a copy and that's going to download that to your computer. Once that's done, what you're going to want to do is come across to another website and that website is called Convertio. So the actual web address is convertio.co forward slash XLS and then you want to put a dash then CSV. So that's going to take you across to here and the website should look like this. Now what you want to do is make sure in the drop down box is that the first one is saying XLS. This is the Excel file type and CSV. Now what you want to do is click the red choose files button and you want to select the file that you saved, which is this one here. Once that's uploaded, go ahead and click the red convert button down here and you'll see that's going to start uploading and converting. So it just takes about a second or two just to go through and convert, depending on the size of the file. And you'll see that's now ready to go. So all you want to do once that's finished is click the blue download button and you'll now see that's downloaded. So what you can do is open this with a text document like Notepad or Microsoft Word. So what I'm gonna do is open this with Notepad, click OK, and you'll see that's now converted it to a CSV file. So what this means is comma separated values. In other words, what it does, it basically separates all the values with commas, as you can see here. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today, and if it did, I'd really appreciate it. If you were to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.